What if I told you there's a few small changes you can do every single morning that will not only transform your results in the gym, but also massively improve your health and give you way more energy throughout the day, okay? Now, I've spent years experimenting with different uh, routines, different biohacks, uh, trying different things. First of all, with myself and now with clients as well. And in this video, I'm gonna give you three things that have made the biggest difference for myself and my clients, okay? They cost nothing, they require zero skill whatsoever and require really very little time. Easy to do, anyone can do them and they're like the, what I like to call quick wins, okay? So whenever I work, start working with a client, I like to focus on what are the small changes we can make today that are gonna give you the biggest benefits because if we focus on the quick wins, uh, my job is so much easier because you know, I know what it's like when say, when you buy something new for the first time or when you get a coach for the first time or when you buy anything for the first time, you're kind of wondering, is this gonna work? Is this right? Will it work for me? Uh, and you know, there's all these questions of uncertainty, but if we start working together and I tell you some quick, easy things that you can do, which are gonna give you uh, like, just massively improve your results, uh, now you have belief in me as a coach, but also you have belief in yourself that you can actually do this thing. And now my job is so much easier. So focusing on the quick wins, I mean, it's a good thing to do um, in any area of your life, whether it's business, uh, whether it's relationships, uh, you know, or whether it's your fitness and your health, you know, what are, the, what are the quick wins that we can do? What is the low hanging fruit? The stuff that's very easy to do, that doesn't require much time or effort or investment that are gonna give you uh, the biggest results possible, okay? So that's what this video is about. I've got three things here. Some of these things, honestly, you're probably gonna roll your eyes, but it's very important that you actually do these things in order as well. And um, don't underestimate how powerful these things are because I would say, I would estimate 90% of people that I work with who come to me 90% are not doing these things, okay? So I pretty much tell every single client to do these things. Some people can't do them uh, because of reasons that you, you'll find out in a second. Uh, so let's dive into it. Now, the first one takes 10 seconds, okay? And that is to weigh yourself every single morning. You must do this. I cannot, I cannot believe how many people who tell me, oh, James, I just wanna get jacked. I just wanna build muscle and they're just not tracking the weight, okay? What gets measured gets managed. You must track your weight every single morning. It's the, the first thing that you should do, okay? You wake up, you go to the toilet, you empty yourself, okay? And then you weigh yourself. And the reason why you wanna do it then is because that is the most consistent part of your day. There'll be no other time throughout your day, no other better time to weigh yourself. So what I do is I've got an electric scales here, okay? Uh, this, I don't know how much this costs, but it's not much, right? I put it in the bathroom next to, next to the toilet, okay? So in the morning, I go to the toilet and then it's just there. I just stand on it. I see uh, what my weight is and then I record it on an app called Macro Factor. I'm not affiliated with them. It's just the app that I use to track my weight and my nutrition. And uh, I, I'm, I don't really care about the day to day because there's gonna be fluctuations with your weight, right? So, some days it's gonna go up, some days it's gonna go down and it won't always go in the direction that you want it to. But if we look at averages over a week and particularly over a month, are we trending in the right direction? Okay, and that's really what I care about is I don't care about the day-to-day -day fluctuations. I care about the trend. And if the trend is not going in the direction that we want it to, then that's a good indication that something isn't right and we need to fix something. And a lot of my, uh, what I focus on with my clients is focusing on the logic, not on the emotion, because particularly for myself, when I, I was just getting into this uh, and I, I, was, I was always obsessing over the mirror. I was, at, at the beginning, I wasn't even looking in the mirror because I was kind of embarrassed with how skinny I was and how I looked. But, but then when I started to you know, go to the gym and really make an effort, I was, I was looking at myself like 10 times a day, anytime I would have a mirror where I'd be on my own, I could look, I'd look at myself, I'd be, I'd be looking at my body and uh, you know, when, when, you, when you're obsessing over your body that much, right? You, um, 
it's difficult to notice any changes and also you can get quite emotional and think that you're not making results when maybe you are or you know you can be over analyzing things so by tracking your weight we're taking the emotion out of this okay it's purely based on logic and we're tracking it and we can see graphs and we can see trends and it really just uh, this is how we take a a systematic approach it's logic over emotion it's very kind of like predictable and easy to do okay so that's the first thing is you've got to weigh yourself and make sure you're tracking it i recommend macro factor if you want to use a different app that's fine ideally get an app which is going to give you an average for like a week or whatever and give you some graphs so you can see trends because i don't care about the day-to-day -day. i care more about the weekly trends and the monthly trends okay so that's the first one second one it's surprising how many people get this wrong i see a lot of even coaches online recommending to their clients that they should be tracking their water intake personally i'm not a big fan of this but uh, the, the reason that they're saying this is, is, is a valid reason, and that is to hydrate. Every single morning before you go for your coffee or before you do anything else, after you weigh yourself, go and hydrate, okay? Because that is probably going to be one of the times of the day, particularly if you sleep with aircon at night. This is a little side point, actually. I've just, I've just stopped um, having the aircon on at night okay and i just have a fan instead and my sleep's way better and i wake up less dehydrated so if you're sleeping with aircon at night maybe try and get a fan and turn the aircon off uh you're gonna you, you're probably gonna have a better sleep as long as you don't get too hot that's a little bit of a tangent that i've gone on but the second point is to hydrate and it's not just about drinking water okay because the body is 60 to 70 percent water okay that's how important hydration is to the body we're literally more water than we are anything else but we're not just water we're water and salt we're water and minerals water and electrolytes okay so just drinking plain water alone dehydrates you it doesn't hydrate you it dehydrates you and a good way to know if you're dehydrating yourself is this if you we right <laughs> yeah we're talking about we if you we and your we uh, the color of it is clear completely clear that means you're actually dehydrating yourself okay it means you're you're effectively weaning out minerals okay and another way to to, to illustrate this point is if you work out i don't know whether you've uh, like ever like like accidentally like licked your sweat or something like that it's salty okay so whenever we sweat and whenever we we I've not, I've not drank my own way, but by the way, there's some people online that do that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's got salt in there. It's got minerals in there. So by just drinking plain water alone, you're actually um, you're flushing out a lot of minerals. Okay, so it's very important to remineralize and drink salty water. Now, what I like to do is I've got some fine grain natural Balinese sea salt. This is the best salt I've found. It is in plastic, which is less ideal, but this, this, this salt is so good. I'm addicted to this salt. And what I do is I'll just put, you know, maybe a third of a teaspoon into a glass of water and I'll have maybe one or two of them every single morning uh, before I've drank any coffee or anything like that. And that way, um, you know, I'm just getting, I'm getting my minerals in and I feel that makes a massive difference, not only uh, in the gym, but also my capacity to work and how good I feel all, all day. This really is a good mood booster. If you're depressed or you're feeling low, first thing I would look at, if you've got a headache or anything like that, is adding some salt to some high quality water. Don't be, don't be using tap water as well. You wanna be making sure you're using high quality bottled water, ideally from glass if you can, if you have the budget for that. If not, no problem. Just try and get the highest quality water you can. Remember, guys, like you, the quality of your inputs are going to determine the quality of your outputs. And water is a big one. We are 60% water. If you're dehydrated, you will not build any muscle. Okay. If you're dehydrated, you will not build muscle. This is how important this is. You can do everything right. Okay. Your training can be a 10 out of 10 and your nutrition can be a 10 out of 10 or nearly a 10 out of 10. But you're de severely dehydrated you're gonna make zero gains, okay? So do not underestimate the importance of hydration. Okay, now the next thing, number three, uh, it surprises me, you know, how many people don't do this, okay? Because it's, it takes 15 minutes, it costs nothing, it's free. Uh, you know, 
uh, and so many people don't do this, particularly in cities. That's what I've noticed. I just started working with a client uh, last week. He lives in the city, okay, um, and he's got everything on site. So every single morning, uh, you know, he doesn't actually need to go outside. He works from home as well. He doesn't need to go outside until, you know, he wasn't going outside until later on in the day. And that is going to massively impact your circadian rhythm, okay? And your circadian rhythm is the foundation of your health. And if you're not healthy, you're not going to build muscle, okay? So we need to go upstream and fix some other things first. And his sleep's not good, right? Okay, so I'm like, okay, well, a quick win here is for you, every single morning, when you wake up, go outside for at least 15 minutes and get natural daylight into your eyes, okay? And what that does is it signals to your body that the day is starting and your body will produce the necessary hormones to get your day going. And it, what it'll mean is at night, you will feel more sleepy, you'll get to sleep quicker and you'll have a better quality sleep. Even if you don't sleep for any longer, because I know some of you, you've got busy lives, you've got families, or you've got careers, you've got commitments, you've got a lot of stuff going on, okay? And, and me too as well. Um, so I'm not really interested in trying to sleep as long as possible. You know, can I sleep for the same amount of time or less, but actually get a higher quality sleep? And going outside and viewing morning sunlight, even on a cloudy day, more so on a cloudy day, even when it's raining, go out there and do this religiously for 15 minutes. Uh, some of these videos that I make, I do them outside and I'm doing them outside for a reason, okay? You can actually stack these things together uh, and do multiple of these things. Like, for example, you could be hydrating whilst you're outside, et cetera, et cetera. You can stack these things together so it doesn't really take up too much time out of your day. Anyway, this client, he wasn't going outside until later on in the day and I just told him, hey, uh, a good thing to do would be for you to go outside and get some morning sunlight in your eyes and you're gonna find you're gonna have way more energy throughout the day. And sure enough, he tried it and he was like, you know what, I don't feel as tired in the afternoons now uh, and that's really helped, okay? Uh, why else would you wanna do this is, well, your circadian rhythm and your sleep is vital, okay? It's vital to your health, it's vital to your well-being. Like if, if you have a bad night's sleep, how, how much worse is your day? You know what I mean? It's, it's, everything is harder. And is that gonna uh, impact your ability to build muscle and get jacked? Of course it is. It also is gonna impact your ability to, to stay lean, okay? So sleep is a massive thing that we can focus on. And the best thing is most sleep optimization hacks or techniques or things that you can do really require, really cost nothing, okay? It's free, it's one of the best things, okay? So he, he, the, the, <laughs> I'll try again. These are three things that you, can, that you should do every single morning without fail. Get up and weigh yourself every single morning, hydrate and go outside, okay? And that is, how much, how much time is this gonna take you? Let's just say 20 minutes maximum. The first 20 minutes of the day, you've got up and you've done, you've executed three things that you needed to do. Well, now you're on track. Now you have momentum that you can carry this through the rest of the day. And I'm pretty sure you've, you've heard the saying, but if you haven't, there's a saying goes that if you win the morning, you win the day. And this doesn't, this doesn't just apply to productivity or business. It also applies to your health and your fitness as well, okay? So go out there, weigh yourself every single morning, hydrate, view morning sunlight, get as jacked as possible, and I'll see you in the next one.